Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Joseph Laxon. Uh, right off the bat, there are three main things that matter. Three three main things in the world that mattered most to me. These are the homie Jesus, my family, <laughs> and my two nephews. The homie Jesus has been around my whole life and has taught me everything that happens for a reason. Taught me that everything happens for a reason, as well as everyone has their own unique story. As for my family. My parents and three older sisters were the first ones to show me real love. It is the kind of love that is unconditional and just plain awesome. <laughs> my two nephews are separate because they mean the absolute world to me. One is 14 while the other is 5. They get their own category because they remind me to try to be a role model every day. Recently I found out they look up to me so I, you know, I can't let them down. Um, it is safe to say that I'm family oriented. So I believe that I, I can integrate that into the EVP position. I will attempt to develop relationships with other externals and organizations to create not only a network, but one big family that takes care of each other. I think that would be pretty darn cool. I don't know why I paused for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also extremely charismatic at times, for better or for worse, and I'm sure you guys can tell from my improv MCing at PACF. <laughs> totally improv. By the way, I decided to MC like an old Tito and play music about five minutes before we started, just, you know, as a side note. Uh, in other words, whatever. Uh, my energy can also be found when I'm playing music for our turn parties, such as the post PACF party. <laughs> I almost cramped and was sore everywhere for like three days, but it was more than worth it. Shout out to Arvin and Zach for letting me DJ. Um, anyways, this energy can be directed toward Troy Philippines as a whole. I'm always looking for ways to help people or cheer anybody up on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Why? Because it's important that everyone on this planet feels appreciated. Appreciation and respect are two key elements that would be valuable in creating friendships with external organizations. With this mindset, thank you very much for listening and good luck to all those who are running for the top five. Thanks. You say improv a lot, but like, how are you? How am I with what? With planning. Because I know with the EVP position, you have to plan a lot of things. Mm -hmm. it's a lot of different bodies, a lot of different schools. Mm -hmm. so how are you as a planner? So, um, in terms of speaking, like at the PACF party when I was emceeing, not party, but um, sorry, the festival, uh, it was improv because I didn't plan it at all. And I didn't think I was going to emcee until like right then and there. But just imagine how I do if I was, if I actually did plan. So, like, yeah, that was improv. But in terms of planning events and planning in, in advance, that's, I'm pretty good at that, if it's interesting. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Could you give me an example? An example of planning? Yeah, yeah, it's just like, of you like leading an, an organization, doing a new event, other than PACF. Yeah. Um, I guess one of my favorite examples is, so like every other Saturday, I teach confirmation at my local parish. And I'm, this is like my second cohort as a facilitator, and each cohort is like two years. And so recently, oh, not, not recently, but like a couple months ago, we were trying to decide what venue to use for um, our retreat. And so I chose the place, and I chose the, um, the staff, like because I had to do this whole presentation, and because Tita Remy loves me. Well, you don't know her, but it's fine. But I mean, when it comes down to it, I can plan. If really necessary, if it's not necessary, then I won't. Yeah, gotcha. Thank you. Any other questions? Somebody other questions? Yes. Uh, yeah. oh. you, can, you can go for it. Have you been on any uh, external events or, or what experience do you have externalizing with our other um, Yesterday I went to Pepperdine's Luau and I met the EVP and she was pretty cool. With the... Go ahead. Oh, and um, this Friday I'm going to Broomball. So even though if I don't get this EVP, I don't know where. Oh, he's outside. If he wins, that's totally cool, but I mean, when I first uh, like stepped foot on here as a spring admin, I felt really, really like, you know, excluded, but when I went to your eboard meeting that one time, I was a total stranger, I was like, I need to be on this board, and you guys were like super welcoming, so I wanted to be, e I wanted to be EVP because, you know, I like developing relationships with other clubs, plus I have a car. Anna. Anna. Sorry, I'm uh, sorry. Like, sorry, I think. Alright. Um, what what tangible plans do you have uh, for improving uh, Troy Fi as EVP? 
In terms of? Uh, in terms of projects that you see that you could do as EVP or even just any activities that would improve our relationship um, with organizations outside of the sister schools that we have and the Oh, outside of our yeah. sister schools? Or even inside USC. Um, so during one of our intern meetings, we did like discuss uh, a whole lot about other clubs and how we don't know. Uh, we haven't made contact with other clubs across the states. And I think it's really, really easy to connect with them, like with Skype, with Facebook, or like even FaceTime. And I'm surprised like we haven't reached out to them because I don't know what the female's name was, but she texted you randomly, like, "Hey, can I crash?" I gotta put me out. I'll just start. Do your good, man. You're good. You're good. All right, let's go. But right. <laughs> I'm using the internet, we can connect with anyone. <laughs> I just like saying hello. Shh. <laughs> so how do you plan to do that? Um, do you have any tangible plans that you're, uh, that you're thinking about? Uh, any none projects? Yet. None yet so far. I mean, I'm not there yet. Plus Joel is an awesome competition. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mr. Uh, one minute. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, she gets me. Ladies first. Um. Being Snow Vice President is also, of course, it's about the events and externalizing and making those events tangible. But in terms of like, it also includes the image that Tour 5 portrays to other schools and the rest of the community. So, like, what is, in your definition or in your terms, like, what's your vision or your image that you want to portray of Troy 5 as an external vice president? Uh, this is kind of like a recurring theme here. Like, I absolutely love how inclusive how inclusive this this club is and so I mean just to like further develop that theme like that we're insanely inclusive that we're always open arms is like a really big deal and I feel that just focusing on that like you know everyone would come that's very attractive so I think that that's your question no kind of in whatever ways you want to express your, oh, our image, yeah, okay. Your, your definition of what our, you want our image to be. Well, in addition to the uh, inclusiveness, I want us to be very respectful. I mean, I value respect, and I mean, it's the little things like please, thank you, or excuse me, that, you know, can make a huge difference with anybody. And so, that would be cool. All right, Joseph. <laughs>